Hello, hello. It's been a really, really long time um, since I've come to you guys in this way, and I'm so excited to uh, be here with you this evening on the mid-season launch of season three of HR in the Dark, the video podcast that exposes the dark side of HR. And oh boy, (laughs) Um, has 2020 been um, an amazing year um, in a lot of ways. And I guess it depends on uh, your take on that and what you what that means to you, um, either personally, professionally, um, as business owners. 2020 definitely has taken us all by surprise and has certainly kept us on our toes. Um, for those of you that don't know who I am, I am Stephanie Lomax, President, CEO, HR strategist for HR Pro For You, which is a HR consulting firm that helps small businesses specifically to embrace HR. And um, this has been, um, I've been looking forward to, to coming back to you guys. Um, and I'm really excited that we are in season three, although it will be a shortened season in terms of uh, the number of months. Um The podcast is now going to be weekly as opposed to monthly, so we'll get a chance to have some good conversation around a lot of HR topics um, that are meaningful to business owners, and we'll also be having um, guests that will be uh, coming on to the podcast as well, so you'll get a chance to hear from subject matter experts um, in all types of fields and all types of industries. And we're going to talk small business. We're going to talk human resources. We're going to talk all kinds of good things around around that and really keep the light um, shed on HR um, and keep the light shed on what things small businesses need to be thinking about as it relates to their human resources and their business. And so um, 2020 came in, I guess, kind of quietly. Uh, And then um, in March, um, we got hit with uh, legislation um, around the coronavirus pandemic that we are all still at this point um, living through and dealing with. And so I Earlier this year, um, in March, I was doing some Facebook Lives with some subject matter experts um, and some recordings with subject matter experts just to talk through some of the things that small businesses really need to be needed to be thinking about as it related to their business and how the coronavirus um, was having, what kind of impact it was having on their business and things that they needed to be thinking about as it relates to Um, crisis management, technology, um, staying motivated and mindset, project management, finances, um, scaling your business in a time where it seems um, not intuitive to do so. And so um, I did that for several months, um, March through the beginning of May. And then I took a pause because I wanted to just hit the reset button. And um, here we are. Here we are today. So um, I always say that um, HR is full of alphabet soup. It's lots of acronyms um, related to a lot of different things um, when, we, when we start talking about human resources and laws, legislation, things, policies that businesses need to be thinking about um, when they have employees and even before they actually get their first employee, some of the things that they need to be thinking about. Um, And they all are usually some type of an acronym. Well, thanks to COVID-19, coronavirus, we have new acronyms. And, um, you know, that's the CARES Act. Um, uh, C-A-R-E-S is an acronym. FFCRA under the CARES Act is an acronym, uh, PPP acronym, EIDL acronym. So all of these um, acronyms that have kind of found their way and fused their way into um, businesses, um, even when we were you know, somewhat blindsided by it, um, all, all play a huge part 
in how we are going to govern businesses going forward. And all of them, with the exception of a couple of the financial um, ones in terms of legislation, um, have a huge impact on human resources. And so this season is really going to be dedicated not just to talking about coronavirus and COVID-19, because I do think in some instances um, we get fatigued with that specific conversation because we're bombarded with it from a lot of other different angles on a daily basis, right? But um, we are going to talk about um, laws and legislation like we always do. We're going to talk policies. We're going to talk best practices um, through this through this season. Um, and we're going to bring in subject matter experts like I had done prior um, over the last couple of months just to talk specifically about uh, the things that businesses need to be thinking about as it relates to their most valuable asset and their most imperfect asset, which is people. So um, I'm really looking forward to um, having this conversation on a weekly basis. Um, we're still going to air every Wednesday, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are not currently subscribed to the podcast, you can subscribe by going to HR Pro, the number four, you.com slash podcast, and subscribe to uh, get the podcast delivered right to your email every Wednesday. Um, as it relates to COVID, I do want to make this um, quick announcement as well. Um, I worked with um, a business attorney, a good friend of mine, strategic partner, Siobhan Smith, and the two of us put together um, resources for businesses as it relates to not only um, policies and templates and things like that via a DIY kit, but we also put together kind of a checklist because at this point um, now we're moving into different phases. Some states are in phase two, some are in phase three, um, but we're moving into return to work. And so with that, we thought it was really important and key to have some resources for businesses as they start to bring people back into the workforce. What does that need to look like? What types of things need to happen? What happened if you laid people off due to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and you need to bring them back? How do you do that? What happens to their unemployment? Uh, what happens if uh, you're bringing people back and you're having to do some realignment and restructure because your business was impacted? Uh, so now you need to do layoffs. Now that it's time to come back into the um, into the fold of business, you now got to look at um, how your workforce is going to be set up. A lot of businesses um, have gone more lean now. So as a result of that, people are going to continue potentially to um, lose jobs as it relates to that. So what types of things do you need to have in place um in that respect. So we're going to talk through um, a lot of that um, in various instances, but I wanted to also on the front end um, provide the resource to you guys um, in case you are in need of that. So if you are interested in getting, um, there's two options um, that are available. If you're interested in getting the free checklist that you can download and use for your business as you are looking to uh, return to work, you can do so by sending a text to 31996 and you're going to send Embrace HR, all one word, to 31996 and that will get you pulled in to get um, the download, the checklist to download. It's a free checklist. That's a resource to you. The second option, um, if you know that you need the checklist, but you might need some additional help as it relates to return to work, um, there is a kit that is available for purchase. It's the HR COVID-19 uh, DIY kit that was put together by Siobhan and I. And um, that kit provides uh, sample policies, sample letters. Um, it also provides a more extensive checklist that you need to go through and think about with more specific detail. Um, and it's all been reviewed by Siobhan, who's an employment attorney. So 
You don't have to worry about pulling something off the internet. Um, if you're in a position where you want to do it yourself, which is totally fine. Um, you don't have to worry about pulling the list down or pulling documents down that you're not really sure whether or not they have been um, legally reviewed. So these have all been legally reviewed, the letters, the policies, the templates that we are going to provide to you, which uh, is an awesome opportunity for you to kind of get yourself um, back on track as it relates to bringing um, people back to work and the things that they may need and the policies that you may need to put in place and provide to them. So that's also an option. And if that, if you're interested in that, um, you can still send the text to 31996 um, and let me know via um, the text message that you're interested in getting the DIY kit as well. Um, you can also go to the website uh, www.hrpro, the number four, you.com And you can pull the, um, fill out the, uh, um, not the subscription, but you can fill in the opt-in form to get the, the checklist, um, there as well. And then also certainly, um, schedule a time to have a conversation if you need more in-depth conversation around your specific situation, how to implement the policies once you've got them in place, how to make sure that um, the policies make sense for your business, and then the best ways to go about interpreting those for your employees, because they're certainly going to have questions, they're going to be asking um, all types of things in terms of how these policies are going to affect um, affect them and um, their well-being and um, what needs to happen as it relates to small businesses and how we are going to effectively and safely bring people back into the workforce. So there's a lot happening um, now. And here's one other thing that I've said it. I mean, if you've been following me and you've listened to the podcast before um, or you're following me on social media, you do know um, that I've always, I may be biased in this, uh, in this statement, but you know that I've always felt very strongly that businesses need to have an HR presence and that HR presence can take a lot of different forms, internal assistance, um, external resources, but having an HR expert that you can call on to get information, um, that you need critical for your business has always been of, uh, utmost importance to me. Um, it's the way that I serve. And now more than ever, this pandemic has brought a lot of things to light. There are terms that we've never used before in our workplaces, social distancing, like, you know, who, uh, the only thing we talked about social was stuff that was really social. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't staying away. It was actually bringing together when you talk about social um, situations under normal circumstances. So having this social distancing and the policies and what that means, how are you going to conduct meetings um, via social with social distancing if you're returning to work? What if you don't have conference room space that can spread out enough so that people are not, uh, or they're, they're keeping the proper distance away from each other. So all these kinds of things um, have happened and the need to have human resources um, at your beck and call and available um, is definitely of utmost importance. And so if you don't have an HR resource that you are leaning on, I encourage you to get one as soon as you possibly can um, to help work through these questions and challenges. They're not going anywhere, not in the foreseeable future. And so I urge you to be proactive as much as possible with getting the type of assistance and the HR expertise that you need for your business. Um, you know, a lot of businesses are were impacted by this. Some may not be returning. So if you're one of the fortunate businesses that was able to stay in business and can continue to conduct business and do business on some sense of normalcy, I urge you to do everything you possibly can to protect it going forward. And a huge part of that is in human resources. So certainly you can reach out to me uh, via the website. You can also send the text to 31996 to get that downloaded checklist for free. Um, and if you want to reach out to me directly, you can send an email to embracehr at hrpro, the number four, y-o-u.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You can do that at hrproforyou.com slash podcast. And um, there's a banner running across the bottom. Uh, it's running 
across a couple times if you want to subscribe to the podcast um, so you can have this delivered to your inbox every Wednesday evening starting today, July 1st, uh, 2020, uh, every Wednesday evening, 9 p.m. Don't forget to follow me on social media as well. You can find me at HR Pro for you and um, on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. I look forward to the next, I don't know how many weeks it is, 26 weeks with you guys. Every Wednesday evening at nine o'clock, I look forward to it. Um, We've got some great things coming forward. And so I look forward to sharing with you and serving you in this way. Um, Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please do all you can to make sure that you keep your employees safe and healthy as well. And I look forward to uh, seeing you guys again next week. Thanks so much for tuning in to the, uh, ina- well, not the inaugural, but the mid-season launch of HR Pro for You season three. Thanks for hanging in there with me all this time. And um, I will see you guys next week. Have a great evening. Bye. Bye.